Famcast Media. Bitch. You wanted the best, best. You got the best. The hottest podcast in the world. From the dungeon. With your host, Mark A. Bernardo. And D. Rock. Don't miss out. Because you will be that. Hey, what's going on? Oh, man, I'm fucking... Oh, hold on. I forgot the camera. Hey, what's going on? Welcome to Front of Dental Podcast. I'm your host, D. Riding along with Mark A. Bernardo. What's going on, Marky? B. In a place hey, to bro, be? Not much. Not much. Showing, oh, enjoying man. the heat. Sweating, sweltering. So it was, it was sweating to the oldies today, bro. Uh, well, the uh, whole week. Past two, two weeks. Two, three, was, yeah, I cooked. I hung out in and at the house. It's hot. It was for a minute. It got nice. It's like it was going to rain. Yeah. But then when the sun went down, I don't know. The heat came back out. I just went out. Like, you, know, oh. you know. You know what reminds me of, bro? Like, uh, like do the right thing, bro. And it was just setting that that heat wave scene. That's it's what like, it reminds like me that. of, bro. It's like that. You're in the neighborhood where like the things on or everybody's well, out. Well, you see, I, I think Sam Willow Jackson be like, you know what the weather is? It's hot. It's hot out, and that's what the yeah. weather is. It's funny. I just uh, it's one of the movies. But yesterday I watched uh, me and Jackie watched the end of we watched Juice. Juice. It's not no. Juice came on. I was like, ah, I'm in this. They were outside the store peeping oh. what they were gonna do. Yeah, was Omar it, Epps. Was, was it was it before they Tupac. robbed before they robbed the fucking uh, before the yeah bar got yeah robbed? yeah it was before the DJ like it was like before when he figured out like right before right when he went to Queen Latifah right around that. Yeah, and I was oh. like, yeah, we're gonna watch this. And when that was over, we flipped it. And was like, ah, oh, boys in the hood. It's but it's near the oh. end when he went for the walk, and we were like, it's like two different situations, two different places. Yeah, you know what I mean. We know nothing about that. Running down alleyways and running, but you know, like the, we watched the New York one. That seems. I mean, it's great movies, like, man. More it's relatable. a good movie, bro. Yeah, those are all great movies, dude. They're gonna, they're gonna be acclaimed. I, I, I own, yeah, they're great old classics. I own Juice and fucking Boys in the Hood on DVD, man. I was like hoping, I was like, and then after that was something. It was like one of those cool nights or just you a know bunch what you of should have popped on, on, bro. If you have, I have it, bro. It's fucking the house party. House party the, was the, a the first fucking, one, like the original. Yeah, yeah. you know, you see the new one with LeBron James. Hmm. There's a new house party. Really? Two dudes look watch LeBron's house or something or they fake like they're and they hold a party at LeBron James's house. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, we, yeah, yeah, we, had, yeah, we had three yeah. house parties, right? There was three of them, right? <laughs> three with the homies, the original, but there's a new one. And that's it was, like is it a remake or is it in the same world? It, no, it's now and the do do the two dudes like work for like a cleaning company or something and they wind up at LeBron's house. They're like oh my god and then they have a party like they hook up and have a huge party and you know like I, I, and okay kid does, does, in it and people are at the party kid play, like, does, does kid and play make a cameo no i don't think so not, not that i didn't watch this movie in full not that i recollect if they don't make if they don't make a cameo in the fucking movie bro it's pointless they have to make a cameo yeah i can if anybody knows anything i don't i don't believe i've seen them i just know what's always on i flip to it i'm like all right this part that part let me see. Let me look it up. Let me look it up in the good old web here. Yeah, I'm surprised you didn't know about that. So they they take over LeBron's house and they kind of have a party, but then he comes home at the end and shit. And what does he start partying with and them? Somebody steals. Then that some there's there's three brother rivals that come in and they wind up stealing LeBron's ring that's in a room inside of a a, a see through box. Like uh, yeah, they got little, little little Wayne's in it, Snoop Dogg's in it, uh, Odell Beckham right Jr.'s now. in it. It was. I caught my interest for like for a minute, and you know what's funny? I there's a cult classic I never watch. Every time I put it on, I go, "This is really stupid." I what? never saw uh in Red's. Uh, what is it? How high? You never saw How High with Meth and Red? No. Every time I put it on, it looks real stupid, and I'm like, I'm not even getting involved in this. It it's looks a, com- it's it looks a real comedy, goofy. dude. It's a comedy. Yeah, man. it's, it's, it's all, like stupid comedies. Some things I'm like, eh. Did you watch? Yeah, did the you- other. Did you watch? Yeah. Fuck, did you watch Axel Fold uh, the, the Beverly Hills Cop F? With the I new was one? gonna. We were looking at it. You know Netflix. Half hour. We went. 
I, nah, I, we put a comedian on, and then it wasn't funny for ten minutes, and then we. Bro, we, I, I, don't know this, man. I, I watched it. Had no cable. I put it on for ten minutes. It didn't have the same feel as the first or second one. It's kind of boring. Yeah, even the thing I watched was like, I, that wasn't funny. Like the the, what's that called? The real, like the little real before I didn't like it. The what? The little reel, like that shows you the shit before it happened. Oh, the the trailer, coming on with trailer. The preview, preview. Yeah, yeah, I didn't. That was not there. I went. This is. It was not kind. Even it was kind of like like the jokes are like too like now, and it's just like, bro, eh. Eddie, come on, man. Eddie, just little Eddie. Eddie, See, that's, Eddie. What's the name of that? I like the other one. The, the, what's the one with Nick Nolte? Oh, that's yeah. better. The weapon. No. No, Nick no, no. Nolte and Eddie Murphy, bro. Eight hours. Forty eight hours. hours. Yeah. Why am I thinking of? Why am I thinking of Lethal Weapon, bro? You know, I I saw Beverly Hills Cop, but like I was like fingering and t- uh, grabbing titty like in a movie on some shit when I saw that. So Fing- Beverly Hills, one, one was good, two was okay, three was all right. We're revisiting it, but this one was just like, bro, it, it, it could have been too long. I don't know. two years later. It's too long. I don't need a sequel. I could just make a new movie, no? Yeah. Well, that's just like I don't know if you ever saw you ever saw the movie Gladiator. For a minute, and they three hundred gladiator all the movies. Oh, yeah, yeah. Nah, three hundred's good, bro. It's no, don't compare that shit to Gladiator, bro. Three hundred was three hundred hit the Lord. spot. Well, fucking <laughs> Gladiator, they got a part two up. Yo, it's been like fifteen years, bro. And now they just put out a part two. I'm like, I'm like, bro, yeah. I, I, I don't see the fucking point. You know, I don't see the fucking point in doing that, man. But they got some good. Mo- I mean, I mean, I don't know if you watch. If I don't know if, if you're into that '70s show. They got that '90s show on right now with with uh, with, uh, with Eric Foreman's daughter over there. It's, it's pretty good. Did you ever see the Wonder Years, the second one with the Black family? I tried watching it, bro, but I mean, I I like the fucking '60s. That was like yeah, what, what was the it? '80s, '70s? No, was I like, think it was no, no. It was wasn't it, it in was the just, '80s? No, no, no. It was seemed 90s. like it was the seventies. No, I think it was the late. I think it was the. You know, I think it right. I think it was like '80s. I think it was the '80s. 80s. I don't, I don't know, man. Shows like the only thing I like from the eighties, like Twenty One Jump Street and shit. You know, that like I good. watch, I like watching like go to high, like they go to the high. School. It's got to be like high school stuff. Like I, oh. you know, there's a classic episode where he gets high or not, and you're confused. When they play oh. Monkey Man by the Stones, Johnny Depp, Twenty One Jump was Street. High in that? Oh, you don't know because no. he gets past the J and he puts the J to his mouth, and they're playing. Uh, Monkey, and he's with a band down on. He's in his band and shit, and. It's a real good episode because it's like, did he wait, just get that, high? Wait, was that when He's the guitar was that, was that when the guitar player was selling drugs? He, he was yeah, in high yeah, school. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, he was yeah, just selling so, drugs yeah. just to like you know get money the, for the family or some shit. Got in the band and shit, and he that's how he dr- he got the ring. There's a lot of good episodes in that, bro. And then Dude, there was a couple was of a, different casts too. That was a great. That was yeah, solid. No. That was after like watch with my mom and shit. Like, I that mean, was when like, John, really cool. when Johnny left, bro, and Richard Greco came, was it Richard Greco? Right, came in. Was that? Yeah. Yeah, when he came in, it was kind of like, eh, it was all right for a minute. For a minute. It was all right. But, you it know. Was right. I, then there was another, wasn't there another dude that replaced with Johnny Depp that was like a young face that looked like Johnny Depp? That was Richard Greco. The, the no, fuck? no, no. There was another kid, a pretty looking dude that was like later. No. Look that castle out up. Yeah, there was a dude and he looked like Johnny Depp. Let me see. I oh. liked, what's his name? It was my boy. I liked uh, Doug Penhall, fucking. The Dom DeLuise's son. That was that was my favorite character. Yeah, they loved when they could go play football and shit. And they had to bust a ring for like a football, and they love you know. Those well, like, we got we the cast. Cast. Well, we have fucking. Uh, who are we looking for here? Fucking. He was a kid, like a, a pretty boy, looked like Johnny Depp with long hair. He was totally in that, bro. It's totally maybe the third wave. Wave. I mean, I mean, you, got, you remember you got... in the very beginning, the captain's not a black guy. Yeah, He's yeah, it's that old, guy. it's that old dude, Captain old Richard. Captain. Right. Let me see. Let me see. Let me go on the Wikipedia here, man. Let me fucking see Twenty One Jump Street. Yeah, Jump Street was tough, and I want to watch the movie. Five seasons, dog. Yeah, that's not a lot. I mean, it is though. That's like a high school. It's like a year, year. Well, that five seasons could be what? Not years, right? It's. Well, no, well, yeah, yeah, from from eighty seven to ninety. Yeah, that's not a long. That's not long. That's like like I said, if you went to high school, you watched that for four years in high school. 
I guess, yeah. I mean, what uh, is it? Is a, four seasons was on Fox, and then uh, the last season was syndicated. I mean, I don't fucking see it. Man. Yeah, there's an actor in there that's not. Fam- I don't know his name, but he was he was the, the new face. You got Johnny Depp, Johnny- you got Holly Robinson, you got Pete DeLuise, you got Dustin Nigerian, you got Frederick Forrest, Forrest, you got Stephen Williams was the other captain. You got Michael DeLucy. Uh Michael, Michael DeLuise. That's the other DeLuise brother. Yeah, you got Michael uh Benditi. Sal Janko. Richard Greco. Uh Yvette you Napier. See, you don't and, see uh, a guy that looks like Johnny Depp. Well, Richard Greco was like the he was the Johnny Depp replacement. Nah, there's another no, nah, there's no nah, I'm telling you, he's not. There's another dude with the exact look of Johnny Depp that's in there. You gotta throw up them characters. Same uh, hair behind the ear, like long hair. Yep. I don't know, man. And I he never became that never, famous too. That's one never of them went things. Nothing. Was, no. I remember them having probably in their third or fourth world. Like, ah, oh, this know. fucking dude. It was a great fucking show no matter what, man. It was fourth one, 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 of the, one of the one of the best. One of the best, man. One Do you the watch best, the movie dude. with that actor that directed movies and he's fat, but he's not? What are you talking What's about? What's his name? I don't know. That actor. He's in Pineapple. You talking about the kid from fucking... Superbad? Yeah, what's that dude's name? Jonah Hill. Yeah, John Hill. Yeah, I didn't watch that 20 on Chop Street, man. Yeah. No. He's it's, a good actor. He's in some good shit, but that was like a, a fucking... Just, uh, we don't need that. Oh, he's a great actor, man, but that's not my 21 Jump Street, bro. You know, that's just yeah. that's just not my show, dude. I mean, I was like... Uh, I don't like I when mean, they make movies out of... They're trying home. to say that that fucking franchise was in the same universe as Men in Black. What? That 21 Jump Street movie. Was in the same mm-hmm. universe as Men in Black. I never saw Men in Black. I watched Men in Black twice. I don't, you never saw don't Men care. in Black? Yeah. That's just Shit. one part that was funny. Uh, I don't know if I for that shit, bro. It was all right, man. It wasn't bad, it was. dude. It there, was all there's right. There's a part that I saw that's most the, the most tremendous thing in the world, though, to me. Like, I was high, and I was like, that's a trip. What? They walk by something and push something, and it's a globe, and inside the globe is... These people that are little and they're like, all is lost. All is yeah. lost. What was that? Bro, that's crazy. Just, you know what I'm talking about? Universes, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That was fuck. You know, shit like that's fun. But yeah, you I got- never concentrated on wanting to see it and buy the t shirt. Like, I see mo- how some people are with movies. You're like, relax. I got the action figure. I'm wearing the shirt. I saw the movie <laughs> twice. I'm getting the DVD. If they make VHS for it, I'm getting it. I'm going to see the second movie. Like, there's movie fanatics. I don't really. Well, like that's that that, that's me, man. I mean, I mean, I was collecting DVDs for a hot minute, man. Then I stopped for a while, man. But my friend I, Trevor Lisa was doing love, the old Simpsons and all the fucking all the Beavis and Butthead shit. They got she must. I don't know. She still has all that shit. I mean, never opening them and having a fucking whole room it was like holy shit. I mean, what the toys? Are they talking about the uh, everything? The action figures, a little bit of everything, dude. Yeah. Look what I got: a Simpsons fucking roller machine, like everything. Where you're like, oh my god, Lisa is fucking Simpsons everything. I mean, it's Crazy. cool. I mean, I mean, once you get into it, man, it's really like, like if my whole wall is Star Wars and fucking tech tech skateboards and He Man and stuff like that. You know. I don't have a house, so I'd have a fucking room with all that shit. I was Can like I, that when this was just me living here. I had it, my bedroom is fucking CDs and posters and shit. It, yeah, it, 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 it's good, man. I don't know. To me, man, it's, it's, it just brings me back to a time when shit was good. Keep you young, bro. You need all that shit around. Yeah, you know. I mean, I look at this shit, but I was like, oh, I never had this when I was a kid. You know? Now I, now I got it, man. You know, I just like to look at it. I have it there, you know, and that's it, bro. There's like two things I want to play with since like I haven't since I was little. The the rock'em sock'em robot. Wow. I and remember. That. I had this I had this robot that used to be on this track and he went upside down, bro. He wasn't he was this big and it was yeah. some kind of track. 
but he went upside down around it and fucking it was a couple of things I had and one of the racetrack games you know how much the, you know, that would that would fucking cost you a good fucking mint right now probably those two toys should have, we should have never threw out anything we should have been smart and be like yeah oh my they should keep all my toys dude you don't even want to know man i look i i remember half the shit i used to have bro I'm like i had the bat thing the bat cave you flipped open up and it, with buttons it snapped together and it was a bat pole and shit and you had to fucking dude like, you know, you know how much I watch these shows, bro, with the with the toy stores and stuff. And Love like, those. They, they they're just like the stuff, they're, right? they're, they're paying so much money for the, and it had to be, it's got to be OG shit, and they're stuff paying we good was, money, well, man. I was playing nineteen ninety nine for not even seventies. Yeah, I yo, missed try- my Planet of the Apes ring toss. It was a Planet of the Ape with his arm out, and you yeah. had to toss the rings around his arm. <laughs> You'd probably get like nineteen seventy four action. You would probably get yo, about five hundred for that, man. And then the air gun. Everybody had that four can set up, and you'd be oh, somewhere in your living room where you pop the air gun. No, it was an it. It was a sensor. Oh, there was a little we, thing on these cans, and it just, they just fell. Some kind of you had some kind of fucking. I thought you were talking. I thought you talking about the shit. Out, the shit they said. Uh, you're gonna shoot your eye out, kid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, you know what I used to do? Remember the cork gun? It just had a string to a cork. Yeah, and it just went pop. I used to cut that off and try to fucking. Go out and get a bird. What's up, Just JB? Like to get near him and shit. JB's in the How house. about no? This was the best invent. This was cool. I had fun with this. I didn't. I used to hate when somebody got me one, but the one year I used it. What the thing you pumped up is a rocket. You pumped up with water. Yeah. And you fucking let it go, and it, the next thing you know, you're like, I don't know where that went. That I was far. That. I don't know where it went. And then you got hit with the water. If you didn't do it right, it was near your face. You got blasted. And you're like, you saw it, you're like, yeah. And you're like, oh, I'm not going on that roof. <laughs> you're like, seven. I, you're like, I, I remember think, that. Oh, shit. Get me yeah, that was a fun. No, if someone went on the roof, fun. if someone went on the roof, it was gone. Done. Gone. Bye. Say, unless you fucking right. Dude, we had a guy one day got on the roof to do all work. And we, from afar, we we weren't even playing state ball, but we were like all hanging out. We saw the guy go, hey, kids. And dude, he just started unloading buckets. He cleaned all the gutters of the connected houses on suburbia. Okay. And there was bouncing tennis balls in every scolding ball that ever was up there in our life. Let, bouncing. Let me, we always twenty of us running to these balls, bro. Let me ask you something, bro. What was the point of fucking uh of stick ball? How do you keep it's score? A, it's All right, so depends on where you play. Our place was a dead end with an open lot. So we drew bases and we drew lines where the home runs were because suburbia went in a loop. So then if the ball went in the Somebody's garage, you'd get third base, and it was like, as soon as I throw the ball or I pass the line, the, the runner at third could, you know, we had our own rules. We had a, a a thing. If you hit it over, it was a green monster. It was a home run. It was a wire. Now, we, now, in, right, in left field, if you hit it over the wire, that was high. If not, it was a fucking double. Now, did you ever, did you so ever watch, depended. Depended. did you ever watch the movie um, Sleepers with Kevin Bacon? Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, they were playing stickball in that, right, in the street. Now, what if you hit yeah, that ball so one. hard? It's gone. Was the game over? No, I usually have like three balls or some fucking veto and some kid, you know. And they always had the, those rubber blue balls. Played for years, I was in it, it's the, with the girl. It was always, man, like, if you're hanging out with kids, it was always like the lazy kid that didn't play. We'd go with the girl. They'd walk around and go get it. Yeah. Thank you. Like, should I, like something. Or you'd be like, no, we're fucking playing this game. I was wondering how the but fuck yeah, this could work, There's all the stick ball. There's the, there's the Spalding ball. Because we used to do slow pitch, yeah. whatever bat you wanted. Like that, slow pitch, because we had so much. We had like a stadium, the way it was dead end. We had the houses and the fucking other house to hit the home yeah. run over. But then we'd go down to Paradise East and play fast pitch against the fucking wall with the square. We'd shh, yeah. draw a square, and now you play a fast pitch. But, but now, did you, did in the you use a bat or did you use a stick? That was the stick ball bat. But one other thing in this, we played up on Suburbia was anything we wanted. Could be a, a fucking heavy aluminum bat. It could have been a dude. Some of them, you were like, yo, this is too big. And you knew who the kid that had this, some a stick ball bat, whatever. But on that, usually you wanted a stick ball. We, we wanted a tennis ball and a stick ball bat. Did you ever? Did you ever? You wanted uh, that tennis ball to act like you fucking pitch and, you know, throw it on the line. You had the same line. Did you ever play fucking, wiffle And then ball? you had wiffle ball. Yes. Yeah. And then the wiffle ball. Dude, we were deep into this. Then the wiffle ball was down the, the driveway. So a dude's pitching from up here on the street. And you're down in the driveway and the, the four boxes of the strike or whatever. Did you ever you see know? somebody and load it, up the, loaded up the wiffle ball, put paper inside it? Too. And then you had, 
No, we have the the bat would be a little loaded with paper. Okay. The ball would be taped. So the the bat would be loaded maybe and you tape the ball. Black okay. tape. But not really. The wiffle ball we stayed the same, but you could tape that bat a little to to make it get a little you know? weight in it. Yeah, yeah. And some people used to put the shit in there. I don't like that. I like with the, the with the tape is correct, right around the middle up. Yeah. It, it worked. It felt, it felt, you know, it felt right. You um, know, and then you make dimensions. The home runs, the fence, and the thing, that lady's car. We it, didn't, it goes around, you know, you know, that when shit. We play, when we played fucking wiffle ball, bro, the only way it was a home run was it like we played on the street. Like we played building the building, right? Like right across the street. If it hit the building, if it hit the building, it was a home run. Yeah, yeah. Like, 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 least second yeah. floor. Ever, Had to be second floor up. Did you ever play where you took the ball off the corner of the, the corner, off the corner, or I? There's so many names for it. You took the tennis ball yeah. and you went over to the corner of, of the fucking corner, just the stoop. What is that? Off the sidewalk where it meets the street and try to get the corner and hit. You know, if it hits that fucking house, it's a home run. And the dude's out there, he catches it, you're out. Or it was off the wall. You have a building. We throw it off the wall or in some way, and you, nobody can catch it. Oh, that was, I remember like, Wallsies. Yeah, that was Wallsies. You throw right. in the ball, and then I the- had a. Yeah, that's exactly the, the same thing. Wallsies is off the step or off the stoop. Yeah. Or, I remember. I remember. So just, I remember just, you throw it. You throw it on the wall, and if you miss it, whoever gets it, bro, you got to go grab. You got to go walk up to the box and say Wallsies, or they're gonna whale you in the ass and your back or your See, head. I don't know. My heard we didn't play that. I've heard that. I was like, what? They didn't throw that shit. We yeah. say, oh man, no. dude. Yeah, Wallsies. How about bottle caps? That was big in our neighborhood. So I somebody didn't fucking. Play that. Nah, I was a little, a little. Yeah. Build it bit. up with crayon or whatever. Two, I was a little bit past my time. Walsies, yeah, yes. We, we, Bottle caps, yeah. that, I, I, you, I came in after that was already a fact. You get to abuse somebody and then kick them out down the street and they're standing down there 15 houses down. They're like, when is it my turn? <laughs> you, instead of being nice, like just clicking it, clicking it, moving on. Some people are like, yo, I'm going to fuck you up. Some dudes would pick it up. That was always a show. Like whoever did that was like, it was almost like they're performing right in front of everybody. Like, bro, you see this? You suck. You're a piece of shit. I'm not gonna just kick this. I'm gonna throw this fucking down the sewer. You know what I mean? Like some stuff. Like, hey, you throw my shit down the sewer. Get you out of the game. Yeah. Oh shit. But, you know, I lived on a dead end where we used to do all of that, and then manhunt. Yeah, I remember manhunt. Like, the crazy game manhunt. But then we played it one year where I was like, dude, somebody hid and we couldn't find them, and they were a little outside the zone. We were all pissed. We all gave up. We had a heavy one. It was like 20 of us like, yo, you just got to come out now. We don't know where the fuck he's on, bro. And you're outside the zone and we know it. We're all mad, dude. It's 10.30 <laughs> at night. It's summer night like this. We're like, and they came out, bro. It's my boy, Mark Burns, was like Nikki or something. They came out from this tree that was outside the zone. We had a big fight over this tree. It was like Christmas tree, bro. Yeah. That they just came out under and then the concrete was there. And you were like, wow, that's, dude, that ain't inside here. That's all, right, bro. It was, you know. <laughs> and then go karts pushing uh pushing the shop right cart with the thing off. We had those oh. races. You, so you you took that off and somebody'd get in it and we'd start that line where we drew the home run and go all the way around this fucking thing back to back around. And we'd push somebody, bro. Those were crazy. Sometimes we did the ones where somebody else would take over. I'd push the dude all the way around the street. Like it. And then my like boy that. would yeah, was, that scared that the shit hard, out of bro. me, bro, in the cart, man. That scared the yeah, shit out dude. of me. Yeah, dude. We had you had no there was no steering and then there was building go karts. Some people built go karts. It was that was a bullshit. But it was usually started with those wheels from that. I right? couldn't do that, bro. The I couldn't from do the that. Shop oh, of course, park. yeah, yeah. They would fucking they would go to Shoprite or whatever or A and P and Jack. Did you ever have a friend with like a little electric car, like the plugged in? And then no. like maybe a little. I had my friend had one of them where you charge it up and it was electric and you could before it was big. It was one of those things. Now kids got little fucking wheelers and shit. Oh, like, dude, like, they got fucking, it, right. they don't, it's pimped out, bro, now. I'm talking players. about the green machine era, back when they invented, like, the green machine after the big wheel, like, Wait, so you know I, what I mean, yeah. like, in the 70s. I never, I never, that was just too much, that was too much paper for my direction. And and I never seen anybody with those kind of things. With those fucking toys. How about a pogo stick? I tried, I never can get it. No, Once you got it. it, it was the best thing in the world. You were like, "Dude, can you, I borrow your I'll, I'll tell you one. I'll tell you one thing. You would never guess bro. I got. Never guess I got, bro. Double Dutch. Mm. Oh, I made it in the double football. Dutch, bro. Made it in it. Fucking. Some people uh, la- fuck last ten seconds. Ten Not seconds. Much, but yeah, we did a little bit of everything, bro. And that was one of them. That was a little bit. That was 
not like double dutch motherfuckers. Well, no, like, so you, yeah. you see the chicks there. The we jump you... rope and we try it and shit. You know, like, like, like yeah. Let me, let me let me get in on it. How do you do this? And then you get in, you know, a little ten seconds here, like, ah, oh, at least I got in there, bro. You know, like you sit there, look at everybody. All right, so in between all of this, some point we all get into vandalism. And next thing you know, you're like, you're in submission with your friend that whoa, like whoa, you're snowballing whoa. a house for six days in a row at a certain whoa, time. Whoa. What was your, what was your, uh, now. did you have a tag name back then? No, I didn't. I wasn't a fucking graffiti artist, any kind of anything. But we, it was a little snowball meanie. Like at one point when my friend did something for, we got caught and everything. Like We used to, we, uh, we, got we, we used to fucking just go around balling. whatever. And in eighth grade, whatever, they had to give me a tag name or some shit. So they gave me fucking a tag name was Oki. O A K E E. I'm like, yeah. I don't know, what the like fuck? Okey dokey. Now, I don't Okey know. Dokey. Everybody had to have one, bro. Everybody had to have a fucking uh, cool tag name. It was, uh, it was out of that, or I, one time I was called Spit. But there was another Spit. It was famous. I was like, I can't be Spit. This dude's fucking all over the joint. You know? These tag name was yeah, dude. I, no, no, that was my rock and roll fucking guitar name, motherfucker. Was douchebag. That was that was my rock name. Until a fucking until I fucking uh, stopped using it. it, just it was kind of, mischief, get, and then we had a stadium. We had a stadium to play with. And Dave, you tell you, if you ever ready, you want to get into something, go rummage to an old stadium. I think I've told you this once or twice. That was oh, fun. Yeah, no, we didn't have that. Yeah, you had that one on four forty, right? Oh, oh my God! We said somebody could have fucking died in some of the incidences and things, and you know, it was somewhere where you're like, "Oh, hold up, bro! Everybody, stop! The stairs and the end here. Don't mm-hmm. fucking you know, I mean, yes. crazy, dude! Like it, fucking Roosevelt Stadium, bro. Mr. Scott said his tag name was Ness. What the fuck? No, I got a tag oh, name now. Quickie. It's right there. It's on my screen. It's IVI thirteen. It's what I am in the B. Uh, that's a fucking totally. quickie, man. Let, let's get into some of this stuff, man. We got there. Let's get into some of this stuff, man. Now you play. You got the PlayStation, right? Yeah. You got your PSN and everything. I got the Xbox and our Xbox was down the other day, bro, for like a day, bro. Was PlayStation yeah. down as well or no? You know what? I had an issue. Couldn't play yeah, shit. Week, I had an issue. Um, couldn't log in. Yeah. And then I was like, oh yeah, exactly. wait, wait, wait. How do I do this? And I was like. I showed everything. Well, I did everything I did. And I said, you know what? Let me, I'm going to go away because I know how this goes. You can't wait for this shit. You got to go do something. They're working on it. And I, cause yeah. I looked it up and it said they're experiencing problems in fucking Alabama or somewhere. Like they said, yeah. Arizona. So I went, all right. So I know there's an issue. I thought I was up early. I was up early. No, and I was up early. So I was like, I should be in bed. I'm up trying to play games and fucking it ain't working. It sucked. Yeah. When you know you can't log in, your shit's not ready. There's, you know. I thought somebody you was hacking the- my fucking password or something. I was like, yo, what the fuck is going on, man? And you got to go on, fuck, I go on Twitter and all that shit and look around. Like, I want an Xbox I just Google. I just Google. Yeah, I just Google the shit. It's always, you know, there's millions of people fucking on that thing, so. Yeah. Did you hear the new Eminem song? Did not. Huh. I, I like, there was one line, bro. One line that I thought was kind of funny. One line. Everything's funny though, isn't it? The dude's not like a conscious rapper. Everything's meant to fucking, you know, yeah, be some shit. You know, I mean, like, I mean, I mean, Scribble told me it was it, it's in, in in uh in in Scribble's world, it's hot garbage. But I mean, there was one line, bro. Where okay, he's fucking, I was uh, gonna ask you. That's what I was just wondering. How is it received in the hip hop world? Oh, Scribble said it's hot garbage. To and me, I'm like. Eh, he just had one he, good. He, is he a huge Eminem fan? Is he like, ah, I'm disappointed, or is he like? Scribble. Just whatever. It's, yeah, just, just, hot, another it's rapper. just hot garbage. The, the, the song's hot yeah, garbage, not, then, bro. That's not my type of rap. I, I like this first. There was stuff on his first album that I like that stuff that's real vulgar and fucking crazy. Nah. Something about fucking with HIV, all that crazy shit. Yeah, I don't know why I like that, but I did. Well, he said he was bit uh, by a spider like, like Toby Maguire. Uh, well, Spider Man was. Toby yeah, Maguire was bit by a spider. Perfect. That's why I became Spider Man. Well, he just he now nah, he yeah. said Toby McGuire. He said the actor's name. He said the actor yeah. Toby McGuire yeah. was bit by a spider. That's how he became Spider Man. And then he said he was bit by a goat. That's why he's the goat. This is talking to little kids talking about Toby McGuire trying to stay relevant. I would totally Peter Parker is the only guy that got bit by a fucking spider, bro. Well, he just went That's by the he, disrespectful he, for the writing. He did the actor's name. I guess it went better with the rhyme or some yes. shit. 
So you know? his next is Christopher Reeves a reference for Superman or is he? <laughs> uh, I don't know, man. But I mean, he dropped it. I don't know. Scribble, man, if you're out there, bro. What do you give it for? I don't know, probably, but what happened with the fight? Was there a fight over uh, Drake this, Rick Ross, with people coming at him? Oh, yeah. What's up with that? Yeah, Rick Ross went over across the border to Canada. And I guess he had beef with fucking Drake and some other rapper a, up there boom. punched him it's, in the uh, face. It's what do you call it? It's the other dude. It's the, the good rappers fucking dissing on there. Uh, Kendrick Lamar is involved. I don't like That's him. Like the only, I think he's all right. Him I, and the one I dude's think, all right. I think he, his 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 raps are fucking boring. He don't got nothing. He's not catching, bro. He's I don't know. To me, he's not catching. Man. It's funny, and I hear I heard legends the other day kill some shit like rock him this one that one. I'm like, I don't know what the fucking these people problems are. You yeah. know what I mean? You're a good track and fucking Pete Rock this one that one. I'm like, I don't know. I'm a new Master Ace came out. That's hot. Why is everybody going off the fucking? Yeah, I'm trying to create. Like, no, you're not. That's not. We don't. Nobody likes that creation. It's Everybody fucking boring. Saying, little books and shit. It's weird sometimes. They I all st- everything has that though. It's like if you listen to old R and B, you're like in the same time period. There's some rappers are using the same R and B tracks. Nah. You know that time period. We hear certain kid and play stuff in R and B. You're like, what the fuck? It's the same shit. I saw but some shit. I saw some, some shit where they, were, where they were talking about Wendy Williams talking about back in the day, uh, rappers who were fucking uh, hiding themselves in the closet, kind of say. And yeah. she's saying that, you know, she's saying they're saying that uh, she said that Puff Daddy was one of them back then. That's why she got kicked out of New York because Puffy was saying that if you don't get her off the radio station for saying that about me, I'm not letting nobody and right. I'm a blackball you and this and that. They're saying Buster Rhymes is one of the rappers that's in the closet. That's all good, bro. Okay. That's what they got to like, do. Like Who cares, the, the fake, the fake, uh, the fake uh, homo thugs. Is what uh, they were calling. Yeah, him. yeah, sure. Uh, so, that's funny. So I know thinking, somebody that saw him at a barber shop. That is my girl's homo thug friend. <laughs> my 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 my, like, my boy. Maybe he's at the same barber shop for a reason. My boy worked. My boy worked in a guitar yeah, center, bro. bro. And he said he uh he fucking stopped Bust Rhymes from beating the shit out of one of the employees because the employees got a little lippy with Buster. But I mean, bro, the, all, all these rappers. From New York and all, are all the are all these rappers gay? Are we just finding this is, out? They're all they're gay. gay. And they're all holding it back. Yeah. Hey, dude. Look, like the like I just watched Godfrey. Like the dude said Dante on his podcast. He's like, bro, most of the Harold Melvin and the Blue Note dudes were gay. You know what I mean? You're Chill. listening to all these classic. Yeah, yeah. Like, dude, Teddy Pendergrass was fucking. You know, he was bisexual. Man got caught with the chick. You never saw the Teddy thing on HBO or whatever. Okay. It's good, bro. Yeah, you know, hey. Did some of them fucking hold, to hold that shit back, bro. I don't know, man. It's just it's just like a lot a lot of them are just fucking I'm falling still like standing. domino. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was an Elton John. All these songs. Well, Love Elton, of my Elton, life. I mean, you know, Elton got, John came years. out. And it's like when you saw Elton John come out, you just looked at him and you were like, yeah, I believe it. I'm not believing. I, I I look at Buster Rhymes dude, and I'm like, I don't see him taking back shots, bro. You know, you don't I can see, see nobody John. taking back shots, bro. No, you know, it's just it shouldn't even go in there. That's that's sexual but I mean, but I, mean, but, I mean, but I mean, but I mean, to put Wendy Williams out of a job because you don't want to be outed. Come on, dude. Yeah. I just find it funny, man. I, don't know. I was just going down that rabbit hole of Wendy Williams, bro, and I was like. I was like, I never knew none of this shit. I was like, Busted Rhymes? I was like, So people right. know that other brothers are the hate gay dude, and they're all not about that either. So who wants and, that and, fucking and, drama? What? And everybody wants to kill fucking, what's his name, bro? Fucking, um, uh, now you can say, I'm a frog. Yo, I'm a frog. Like, now you could say, I'm a frog. I'm a, I go as an it does or something. You know, like. What the fuck language <laughs> are you speaking? What the fuck was that? You know, everybody could be a. A uh, he, she, or th- oh. what is it? That, those <laughs> pronouns, those verbs, or whatever. Yeah, yeah. I make my own up. And I, it was. And, uh, I, st- I still say I'm mad that. at them motherfuckers for teaching me pronouns because I didn't want to learn none of that shit in high school. I didn't want to learn it yeah. now. I identify as they, though, and stuff like that. You're like, what? I don't, I'm confused. I don't even know what they want from that. I don't get it. 
I never seen so it. many people get butt hurt over fucking like 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 yo. If somebody saw me from behind, bro, and thought I was a chick with long hair, I'd be like, "What apps? What apps, bro? I don't care. What apps, bro? You know, it's like it's weird. It's very odd. I don't know where it came from. It's fucking it's like pumped into. It's like I don't know. I don't know. It's like somebody's while your parents were busy doing this, somebody's. You know, I don't know. Exactly. Infiltrating your kid. I don't know. Or everybody's just born like that for a reason. Yeah. I don't care what you do behind closed doors. Whatever. Just don't hide it in your rhymes. But yo, you listen to hardcore music, Mark? You ever heard of sick of you heard you ever heard of sick of it all? Yeah, I don't listen to them. I know I know that world. I know another you know, people wearing black. Yeah, I get it. The lead the lead the lead singer, bro. That hardcore. All right. The lead singer just got diagnosed with a cancer in like his lung, that. bro. I saw that. Fucked up, yeah. man. Sick of it all is like, who else is related to those bands? Like, well, I just watched a got, really good hardcore you, you got show stick, from Manhattan. You got last Sick year. of It All. You got fucking Agnostic Front is from the same fucking vein. I think it was them, and they were like really good. It was somebody really good from St. Mark's or somewhere sing, in Manhattan. Their singer, their singer just great. survived cancer in his mouth. Yeah, I think that was, I think that's who I saw. I think that's it was crazy. The show was, yo, know, those shows look like you either you fucking in there or you, you should just shouldn't be there. <laughs> stick stick man from stick man Body. from fucking um from Fury of Five, bro, just got diagnosed. He had a little a little skin cancer, bro. He's got to get taken care of, bro. Yo, all these motherfuckers, it's cancer just popping yeah. out. I saw a fucking dude that's like the survive he's pitching for the Mets he's a testicular cancer and skin cancer Jesus Christ start, you know getting back into the game I'm like yo yeah man I don't know he just got he, they just had to they just had to uh they just had to cancel a whole fucking European tour man just uh, that's so like, been up a long care. time right stick with all who else is in that it's like Murphy's Law like in, in that world yeah am I like off yeah yeah no, right. Murphy's Law too yeah yeah, yeah no I've watched a, a, a battalion of shows Right after COVID, of that hardcore world in some part, might have been St. Mark's place or somewhere. Yeah, just really good, dude. It was really good. Uh, surprisingly, it was really tremendous, bro. They they got they dude. Their fans are so fucking good, bro. That I, I, his uh, bodies all over the place. The, the people go, letting people up on stage. His go, weed. His go <laughs> fund, His GoFundMe page, bro. Fucking went over the limit. Like I think I was That's only like a hundred thousand or some shit. I think it was up to like two hundred yeah. something thousand. Yeah. You know, they fucking for the go for me. You talk for a fan. You know, are they from New York? Yeah, they do. They, they, they yeah. yeah, they well, get so much fun. Dude, these hardcore guys smoky. get so much love, dude. They they all support each other, bro. With all that shit, man. You know. So are we? Uh, like, can I ask you this question? What's up? Any of those schooling? So, it, where is this in the chain of the Ramones? Mm-mm. Are they in the chain? No, Ramones are, are hardcore. Ramones are punk. They're just punk, right? Yeah. No, nah, these yeah. dudes are. So wh- these where guys, does these the chain hard- break off? But where do we get hardcore from? Hardcore punk was the guys that listened to the Ramones and they wanted to play punk, but they wanted to do it a little harder. That's what hardcore punk. What, came what's from. the first hardcore punk band that made it, that changed Agnost- us to uh, sick of it all? Agnostic, Agnostic front, front, Agnostic front, front, front time, sick right? of it all, Murphy's Law, stuff like that. What else? Before that. That's about it, right? Those are the Godfathers. So we're talking eighties, like mid eighties. Yeah, all right. yeah, mid eighties is when it all Where started. Does Pennywise fall into this. Pennywise is in the mid eighties too. They're in there, but they're like, yeah, they're not hardcore. They're more punk rock. Pennywise. All right, it's more punk rock. They got a documentary. I'll send you a link. Uh, a link of a documentary, bro. It's pretty fucking badass, bro. That they give you, basically, uh, fucking. Uh, the funny thing is, it says that all these bands started popping up when the Ramones were going around on tour in the United States. Once the Ramones left the state, a couple bands popped out of that state. You know, like they ignited they a fucking like fuse. Opening up for them or anything. Now this this hardcore scene don't go arena, right? Madball, Corn took Madball on tour in Europe. So they played in front of like fucking maybe like 50, 60,000 motherfuckers, you know, with Corn. Yeah, that needs that. You know, no, they, they, they get, they, when they play the big festivals in Europe, you know, these, 
Yeah, right, right. That's yeah. Probably where they, yeah, yeah, that's true. Fucking clean up. Fucking but I think over here they play like they play like three thousand, four thousand seat uh seat rooms. Oh, you know? Packed. Yeah, packed. They could do packed. three, four. Of course, nights of course, of course. Yeah. No, they're one of those that's a strong following, dude. They're fucking you know, I every it. every year in every year in Philadelphia they got that uh this is hardcore festival. It's like a three a three day festival, like a fucking Friday, Saturday, and Sunday fest. Where does metal meet punk? Where does metal meet punk? Fucking yeah. um, what you call it? Um, suicidal tendencies. I yeah. would say that's metal and punk. Since since the beginning, yeah. you know. Yeah, they're out there for a long time too. There's probably a bunch of other bands I can't think of right off the dome, but I mean, suicidal tendencies yeah, is off the dome. Popular for that, yeah. And I, and I bet you they're probably one of the first ones to like mix punk and metal thrash. You know, kind of shit like that. Throw a little little rhymes yeah. in there. You know, they're a little, little hybrid yeah. kind of band and shit. You know, totally. What we got fucking uh, the producer of Injustice for All thinks Lars and James took the bass off the mix on purpose. He mixed it with the bass, gave it to them so they could listen to it, and he thinks that they took the bass off on purpose because he, when he when he heard the mix, he was like. Well, Where's the bass? And Lars is like, it's there. No, where's the bass? I mixed it. Where's the bass? And Lars is like, it's there, but it's all the way in the bottom of the mix. And he's like, bro, there is no bass. So why did this come out and go like that? And why is this still an issue? I mean, I, I guess you know what it is. It's one of those old Excuse fucking. Me. It's one of those old fucking. You know, like like why Dave Mustaine get kicked did out of Metallica? Did they remake the record? Did they remake the record with bass on it? No. So why haven't they done that? Why don't they just put that fucking thing to bed? The anniversary the anniversary already passed. Why fucking think of all these things? The anniversary the, smirking. The anniversary passed out, and they and they and they put out a fucking like a like live stuff and shit like that. They didn't do a remix. They need to. Whatever. They need to, bro. Like like it, it is kind of like but it's like that fucking like like I said, got Rob, like, bro. I want to hit your heel on a fucking somebody on that. No, they got no. They got they got the fucking masses with Jason on it. You don't want Jason? Nah, for, the, for, for injustice for yeah, injustice for all. No yeah, way. We, no way. Yeah, you don't no need way. to do. Blasphemy. You sell, you, you, Blasphemy. You sell two. You bring up the levels and sell one with connected to the other one with fucking Blasphemy. the band now playing it. Blasphemy. You're crazy. He don't Live need to in be a on room, it. bang, crazy. Yeah. He don't You're need to be on it. That's bro. blasphemy, bro. He fucking don't need to be on top it. ten bass player. I fucking and I met him, bro. We need justice, so justice for Jason, bro. Justice for Jason. <laughs> we need right, justice bro. for Jason. No, he's a good dude. It's, he's like a soldier, bro. He to fuck, you know, it's a hard job to take something over like that. Especially a dude. Dying, what can you bro. fuck? What, what can That's you say, bro? Strange. What can you say? And you you yeah, hear the sit and you go like this. Wow, I sound great. I sound great. That's it. I'm in there. I'm at the bottom of the mix. You know, you're 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 in the mix, just all the way under the drums. You know, so that's what, go ahead. you got to see him live. You knew we fucking played. That's all. That's what I'm saying, bro. When I hear when I hear it and I hear people play it live, and I'm just like, oh, that's what the bass is supposed to sound like. I missed out on that whole thing because I saw I was laying over some chick's house and she was watching this and all into Metallica, and I went. We ain't doing nothing yet. I went, is this the dude, this guy to die? Like, I, you know, it was just like not even a year after I went, this fucking dude just died, right? And I went, I was like, I fucked up. She's <laughs> like, I fucking, this dude's railing. He was doing the fuzzy bass fucking solo. Oh. And it just blew my fucking mind. I remember even like, what are you fucking, about I was like, I'm not the same. I was like, yeah, I was, pull, I blew my mind, dude. Pulling teeth. It blew my mind because I was like, yeah, it reminded me of a, uh, you know, like that blue cheer, that old fuzzy sound in a fucking in a in a now, and I was like, ah, oh, this is I fucking I fucked up. Yeah, it was in the fucking eighties, man. When did he die? Eighty five. Eighty? No, wait. I think eighty seven. Eighty six. Eighty six. Eighty seven. Somewhere uh, around there. It was, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was. It was. He died in the, he, he died in the Master of Puppets tour. Yeah, and she was watching. Really good. It was fucking. Uh, it, it was. It got me, bro. I was like, fuck. I'm over here to fucking do some dirty work. 
now she's popping this on. Like, I'm like, I got an erection for a different thing now. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm like, I fuck, and I'm like, and I'm, on, and I'm going, yeah, I fucked up. And that was right around the time I started playing bass, too. 86 to 80. You know, like, oh, right did, you, ever, did like, you ever think about playing like the way you saw Cliff fucking playing? Like, did you ever think about playing like that? Like, like, like in your mind, like, did yeah, you like, like, like practice uh, it? Yeah, yeah. No, I like, for, I fuck around with fuzzy tones like that when I load up a bass. Who, who don't? That's fucking nice. What is he oh, playing? Rick? A Rick oh, and Baca? Oh, I'm is saying, he ripping yeah. a Rick and Baca, that dude? Yeah. But he played it like that's, a guitar. A yeah, no, he was all over that. Like power that's, chords that's and all like. that shit, you know? Yeah, no, that's, I like Billy Sheen. Billy Sheen is that, like, those type of skill, like, you know. Came from that fuzzy bass world, bro. Billy Sheen. Not a lot of people not that are my fucking doing bass that. player. He's just I'm a fuzzy. guy. <laughs> Billy, bro. I mean, hey, seen man. Him, I've seen him the most times that I've seen anybody live. Billy justice Sheen for, justice for Jason. Let's get it out there. We need justice. So I went to see Metallica open up for. Here we go. Here we go, Mark. Look at this. Here we go. Good show. And I guess it was that other kid. Cliff's overrated. Great place. And then he died. So it ends. It was great. It's- Stop it, bro. He's got fucking. He's got three <laughs> albums, bro, to put him on the map. Yeah, and it's overrated to even watch. I don't want Jason on my mix of the new Metallica record. Oh. Dude, that's got to be true. Hell, bro. He, Why? How can the other dude sit in the band? Because the other dude had his chance. They lowered your mix and. That's the story of it. That's it's not like his album. in baseball that's between this period. Like, that's not his that's, album. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Yes, it, it does. doesn't matter. Dude, when Living Color redid fucking whatever, Muzz Skilling wasn't fucking call him in for that. They fucking used Doug. No, they, they, no, they, they, didn't, redid they, didn't, no they didn't remix the album. They re-recorded the motherfucker. They recorded it. Yeah, no, they recorded this, this, this shit, is, No, we want to remix. Put the bass up in the yeah, mix. You can re-record that shit, bro. No, play it like you play it now, bro. You're not going to catch it. You're not gonna catch that lightning in the bottle. You should should be able to bang Dude, that out. His voice could not. Good. His voice could not sound like that ever again. So let's just do the music, bro. Oh, now you just want an instrumental? No, just put new music to his old voice. How about that? Oh, get the fuck out of here, dude! I, now you're smoking some Mike Tyson weed, bro. We got scribble fucking up. Newstead was always bottom tier too, especially if you compare him to the greats and. Th- Yo, why are you shitting on Newstead Scribble? Why are you shitting on I never on? was a big fan. I didn't, and I, it just looked like a geek to me. But he's a cool dude. He was, I read watch things. He was just handled his business. Yeah. It wasn't really fair. I just took it had a monster. I have to watch him. He, <laughs> he packed his lunches during the Black Album, bro. He saved his money. He couldn't have had Les Claypool or any kind of monster. And he could have had somebody in between. I like the Pepe Keenan fucking. Dude, like trying out for that, like that. That was like funny to see that. I didn't understand like, who so was dude. that fucking guy who played upside down bass, but upside down. Well, he played a righty bass up, like a lefty bass upside down. Righty? What do you think? He played no. He played. He played a fucking. He played a, a righty bass. No, he played a lefty bass, but upside down. But righty, like the strings were upside know. down. Was it Doug Pinnock? Was it the dude from King's X? He didn't try out for them. Did no, he? no, 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 no. I don't know. I don't know who it was in the fucking uh, one of those. One of those yeah, guys that I, tried I, out. I remember there was a wacky one, right? I don't remember that. I it was the bass was upside down. And that's how he was playing it. I was like, "What the fuck are you doing, dude?" Like, like that's his worst. Like, like a drummer playing with his fucking uh the hi hat up with his left hand. You know, did like did you like, see the video I sent you of that kid with one arm dunking? No, wait, wait one arm dunking, bro. This kid's a one arm basketball player. He fucking. Who the fuck's DD? Who's DD Verney? Probably a fucking bass player. We don't know. We forgot. And Let me see. You probably meant the right. CC Deville is better than all of them. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> CC, yeah, no, I'd put CC Deville. Oh wait, who does this guy fucking play for? DD Verney. Uh, okay, let me see. Uh, over, overkill. Uh, oh, yeah. oh eh, he's got a fucking point. Those are fucking dude. But that, that wasn't the, but that like wasn't that. the dude we're playing. That's the, that wasn't the dude we're talking about though. Yeah. I mean, hey, scribble I, wants to do scribble. Scribble, the rapper that's on uh Godfrey's new thing is better. Oh. 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 <laughs> I heard it today. I heard it. I, dude, it could have been you, but you know what? 
I'm going to go with it. Just because Snibble wasn't a brother, that's kind of why I think they went with the brother. Ain't nothing oh. wrong with that. Hulk Hogan just dissed a black chick the other day. You saw that, what Hulk Hogan did? Found out this girl was black and dissed a fucking company or something? I don't believe it, bro. Oh, I don't believe are it. Are we reading a bullshit all day? Or I don't is, believe was that it, real? bro. I, I, I don't, don't believe it. Because he took a where, picture where, with her and then... Where's that the was proof? A odd, where's the contract? Yeah. Where's the proof? Show some contracts. Show some proof. Yeah. Everybody's diddying... With the news, yeah, dude. I mean, I mean, you can't believe nothing now, bro. It's, it's. I want to see fucking evidence. You said to me, Jerry Jones, Saudi Arabia. I'm like, I got to Google this because I saw this earlier too. And I'm like, I hate the Cowboys. I don't care. I like good. They're going. I hope they move the team to Saudi Arabia. I, I do, Scribble. <laughs> I don't care. I don't, look, Scribble. I don't care if he's fucking racist. He fucking dropped the M bomb once. But I'm just saying, bro. Everybody gets forgiven once. Now. You can't fucking now now just he got forgiven by really? everybody. Hogan went on a fucking tour, whatever, did the whole, you know, forgive me fucking, you know. I thought it was unforgiven. Everybody forgave him. Uh, it's, it's forgiven. It's forgiven, bro. What, he what got, said the N-word uh, with sensational Sherry or in a what, promo or something? What was no, that? No, 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 no. Booker T dropped that. Booker T dropped that one. Yeah, yeah, dropped yeah. That one. <laughs> Hulk Hogan, I'm coming for you. <laughs> yeah. Booker T dude. dropped that one. You saw his face when he dropped it. He was like, national tv you watching any local news you see what happened in new york this girl wow. that found up dead they found a girl found dead in a plastic bag and they all surveillance video saw this guy in a wheelchair doing something with this bag well the next day they got him and yesterday they all attacked this guy on the way to the ambulance in to a get, wheelchair to go to the, yep because he fucking we supposedly was pulling his body to put it out front but we don't. He got arrested, but we don't know if he's the murderer. He could have just did this for somebody, and then could have got paid fifty yeah, bucks or some shit, you know? Right. And he's trying. Yeah, but they're like, he's a person of interest, and yet, dude, 50, 60 people from the Bronx to beat his ass, bro. Well, you know, like, you I don't know, know. It might have been bro, uptown, New York. It's it's it. You're guilty until proven innocent, bro. And you got to watch it's out great. before the mob kicks your ass. Well, New York got him, bro. 50, 60, 70 people are wailing on this dude. actually hitting cops, trying to hit this dude. And now it's great, what, it's great footage, man. If anybody gets a chance, want to watch something wild, bro. It's not January 6th. But what Did if you he see didn't the uh, actor who got caught on January 6th, the comedian? Ah, uh, there's oh, a comedian on, that got caught. Let me just say this on the other one, bro. What if yeah. he didn't do it and he beat, and he beat his ass for nothing and he didn't do nothing? What if he was just throwing away... He's, well, what if he's the guy to just bring the body out for somebody and went, hey, do me a favor to bring this thing down? That's all right. You still got a cop a beat and you're still, you're still getting arrested for doing that. But how's he so in a wheelchair and he's arrested. pulling a body? He's in a wheelchair, dude. It's in a sleeping bag and he's pulling it out somehow and it's he has no legs. His legs are and fucked. His legs are fucked. No, he's in a wheelchair. He's got legs. He's just like a handicapped guy. No, but I'm saying, but his, of, his legs aren't so, movable, though, right? His like, like, like. How so, do you, I don't know. The dude, the dude's on the gurney I getting thrown, punched by Puerto Rican and blacks, and the whole neighborhood and every fucking body that could be there, bro. So that was like that was like when uh, when Richard, when Richard Ramirez got caught, bro. The neighborhood beat the shit dude, out of him. Dude, and all the parents and the all the girl, the friends are around the neighbor. Dude, it was a really wild fucking story right I now know. in New York. Bro. What's this other one you're talking about? What's the other one you just dropped? The other one you were just saying right now. Oh, there's a comedian, and when they showed him, I went, ah, I used to watch him on Mr. Show. What happened? Do you ever watch Mr. Show? No. With I'm... Bob, all uh, right. There's one stupid thing when they show at least a guy going, damn, shit, fuck, like, and they're showing it from, like, a mountain at his house, and he's yelling these curses, and that's what I was like, that's the guy, so he's a dude that did five years, he's going to do five years. For what? He's a comedian. So he was in the Gen 6 riot. He took a thing from a cop. He's involved. He got the thing around his face. You see pictures of him. I was like, oh, really? shit. Yeah, put in comedian uh, January 6th, bro. You'll, you'll see this guy. He's a character actor and all this shit we watch, bro. And he started at Mr. Show, bro. He's a big, tall guy. In the Rob Riggle type big guy, but not Rob Riggle. Oh, Jay Johnston. Yeah. Yeah, bro. We, we were bugging on that last night. I was like, wow. I remember this guy. We, I just went, fuck. Shit. I've never seen this dude before. Dick. Yeah, with the mustache, dude. That's where I've, I know him from. Yeah, huh. bro. He's he's in a lot of character comedic roles. Yeah, I know oh, there's people out there. Anchorman and Mr. Show character. Comedian. Yeah, no, he's in, dude. He's, believe me, he's in well, the bullshit. Well, well, what about the, the guitar player from fucking Iced Earth? 
he's involved too, right? He was there, yeah. Nuts, man. That was something to stay away from. Yo, dude, because anybody who was over there, bro, they, they they pinged your phone and they want to know what you were doing there. FBI wasn't playing games, yeah, dog. I would have been a guy like, all right, I'm the one who walked away from it. But I did pour gasoline on everybody walking away. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, because that's how to pull that. Hey, everybody. What? I went like this, like you're baptizing them with a fucking with a thing. Here you go with a match. Man, that'd have been the best thing. That'd be a great villain for a fucking comic yeah. book, bro. The preacher. Just throwing right? fucking gasoline over and hit you with the it's uh, match. It's, it's fire, though. It's fire. You get you hit like that. Right? <laughs> That's fucking Jeez. crazy, man. I didn't know about that, man. A fucking wheelchair yeah. guy pulling a body. Holy shit, dude. I, 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 I'm I, sorry, bro. I just, I, I could say right now, I heard it all. I heard it all now, man. Oh, you got yeah, screwed. Well, we were talking about guns yesterday. There's like a two-year-old that killed his mother like on accident at like Walmart. What? Yeah, there's just some incidents. You look them up. You're like, Jesus Christ. And it was like the other day. Yeah, man. Shit. Well, Scribble just wrote down. I don't know how to, I feel about January 6th. There's been a lot of uh, evidence. It was kind of a setup. There's literally video of cops. Yeah, there is. There is. But, but there are, showed up. But there was set up. Yeah, they're all in on it together. You there got was, up from your non-job and was over there. There was stupid <laughs> people there, but there was also people there that, that set the riot up and they fucking, they just basically egg people on. There, that's been proven already. There was the egg uh, is... Well, that's that's the uh, air of stupidity. That's how that works. Hey, guy, 56,000. I'm going to get 6,000 people to be stupid. There we go. Yeah. Well, that was just like at, at every fucking, at every, um, at every friggin', uh, what do you call that? At every rally, bro, you saw a fucking, uh, a pallet of bricks. Like, what the, why is there a pallet of bricks on that fucking corner? There's a little you know? There's something going on with the stuff in New York. At every corner, there was some kind of thing with a, a, a cart. Attack! We didn't know what the fuck that was. I still want to know around the yeah. Ukrainian war when that was gone. What was that? You, you don't got know what me, that bro. Was. Yeah, you See, got me, man. You know, par- I was paranoia fucking zones setting up, making it like paranoia. Let's jump back into some music, man. Fucking Giza Butler. I was reading, bro. Said uh, that Black Sabbath was so poor they used to boil their strings to clean them. They couldn't even afford yeah, strings. So they couldn't afford, like, I guess was not, don't you, couldn't you use rubbing alcohol and they a were wag? Get, they were getting ripped back then, bro. They were getting ripped, ripped blind, bro. And I mean, what, you boil your <laughs> strings? Because you, it, it's yeah, like, that well, works. I, I, I belong to a bass player's talk on Facebook. And yeah, some people go, and people go, just buy fucking strings, dude. But if you're butt poor, yeah, that works. You boil yeah. your strings. It comes off. I think you could take a fucking rag with fucking alcohol and I don't I know. I used to do stupid shit like take my strings off and lemon oil my fucking neck. Yeah. I used to do fucking lemon oil and fucking on a rag or the fucking shit in, then wipe it out off again, put my strings back on. Yeah, I used to do that to the fucking the fretboard. I like mom, like, hey, lemon oil. Oh. I don't like the it's way fucking new strings sound. I like the way old, raggedy. How do you think they sound. become old strings if you can't? Oh, here we go. Screw we up. By the uh, by the way, they were getting ripped off by Sharon's father, who signed Black. Wow, they were getting robbed by Sharon Osborne's father, well, Don Arden. Well, Don look, Arden. Who who's got the last laugh now? I think Black Sabbath. I does. don't know. I did that fucking Ozzy was dope, but the fucking Dio came out. I'm gonna be like, oh shit. <laughs> I don't. I don't. I don't consider D. I don't consider that Dio era of Black Sabbath. Black Sabbath. It's not. That's just I, I, me. I like it. I loved his solo shit. Though, what I'm saying, but yeah, I didn't mind that. That had to happen, bro. Who are you gonna put in there? She did changed. so much in like four years. Dio he wasn't that. He was in fucking rainbows. They should have just fucking renamed the band. That's just my opinion, but they should have just renamed the band. I know. I know. I know. Fucking um. Tony Iommi, I think wanted to do that, but they said no. It's got to be black. I, I think I think when I, after yeah, after like he was the only one in the band or whatever. I think he wanted to change it or whatever. And they were like, nah, it's got to be Black Sabbath, man. So now all the all rock star news is old dudes just talking about stories Talk, now. Talking schnizzles with their fizzles. I got one for you right here, bro. This is the last story we got here, bro. 
And Scribble threw this at me a while ago, man. Fucking uh, Black uh, Black Sabbath. Pantera is about to throw out a live album with Zach and fucking Charlie. And and, uh, they might be slipping in a new album after that. Happy birthday, Frankie Bello, today. Happy birthday, Frankie. Come back to New York. Stop hanging out in Chicago. What's going on with that? He's in that other band, right? What happened? He's in another band right now. Oh, oh, fr- oh, yeah. He's in. He's in. He's in. I, I, I think they're just having a little issue, you know. A little. Well, you got you got Scott Ian's doing Mister Bungle, you know. But Anthrax is coming. They got. They're working. They're com- coming out. Should I? Do. I think they recorded it already for some reason. I think, I think they're the just other holding- doing Journey. The other guy does Journey when he's not fucking I think they're Anthrax. Just, they're just holding off because I think uh, Charlie's doing Pantera. So they're holding off on it, you know. Yep. But I mean, how would you feel? I mean, I don't know if you're a Pantera fan, but I mean, how do you feel, bro, when when you got new players coming in and and the old players were the fucking the bloodline of that music? Yeah, I saw them already, so I'm not going to ruin that. I'm pissed I didn't go see David Lee Roth with Van Halen when they came around. I just I just saw every goofball going to that, and I went, you know what? I want no part of this. You might as it's well like, jump. I saw my raw, yeah, I saw that Sammy tours are cool. Anyway, I just was like, yeah, no, no, no. Everything was a little, the prices are high. I was like, yeah, I don't really need this. I mean, I'm, I'm not that. I'm not down with it, bro. I'm not down with it, man. I don't think that, you're going to ruin the legacy of fucking, you know, it's, oh, we're doing it, it's the legacy for the brothers. You're going to ruin their legacy by fucking writing a new album. You know, unless, unless. All the songs are written by Dime. They take old dime bag rips and they fucking redo them. Like stuff that it wasn't lit out. I'm just, well, that's work too. What? They could do that, but fucking Metallica can't work on the fucking thing I'm saying? No. Base base justice for fucking for for Jason. Dude, Anthrax is garbage. And this last album Yo, slamming. You back. shouldn't say that, Scribble, bro. Yeah. You're a little too close to comfort right over there by saying they suck. A little too close to comfy, you know what I'm saying, Scribble. Who do I? There's John Bush is in a band, like a little super group, with like Michael Lando, Phil Demel, I think, and yeah, like it's a John super Bush? group. With, with, yeah, 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 yeah. Keep seeing the video popping see. up, fucking him singing. It's a hard motherfucking Michael Lando's the dude that plays with Corey Glover. Just popped the record out. It's Michael Lando rips, bro, rips. I mean, if you like fucking ripping, like, holy, you're like, oh, shit, a dude that I don't know much ripping. Oh, they're called Category 7. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, that dude has a band with Corey Glover that that's another ripping shit. He was in Adrenaline Mob, Michael Lando. You got Category 7. Uh, veteran metal vocalist John Bush is fronting a new supergroup dub, Category 7. And the band has already uh, inked a deal with Metal Blade Records. The outfit features John Bush, along uh, alongside guitarist Phil Demel, Kerry King, X Machine Head, and Mike Orlando, Adrenaline Mob, Sonic Universe, bassist Jack Gibbons, Exodus, and drummer Jason Bitternin, Shadows Falls, Overkill. Okay. Yeah, ripping, ripping. Dude, Mike Orlando. I don't follow him, but every time yeah. I see something, he's fucking ripping like ripping like like what? eddie van halen hand down to the bottom like flying and he, he's a fucking wizard dude this picture looks it's, photoshopped i don't know this guy right here it might be he looks like he hey. was like he was like added in i don't know the lighting yeah. is weird get a, get a picture of him we don't he hasn't been to the coast yet <laughs> send us a picture stand near <laughs> Yeah, I don't know, man. Uh, yeah, Supergroup yeah. Category 7, bro. I guess not bad. A little something. A little something. You know, Anthrax ain't never going to do a fucking Best of Both Worlds tour, so you got to do something, right? Yeah, you saw that? January, I'm fucking June, man. Somebody said, you got tickets yet? I'm like, fuck, man. It's a day I don't work. But I would go see that Sammy Hagar, Joe Satriani, Bonham thingy. Why? Scribble's over here saying you're Scribble's, over here. Scribble's banning any talk about Shooter's Groove and Head P.E. What the fuck? Scribble's you just bang it up, dude. So that that don't happen, and we'll talk about them all the time now because you just did that. Yeah. It's fucking Head Scribble. Head pre- slamming. D, you don't want to go see them with me in September 1st? Nah. Monday? 
I got yeah. work. I got Scribble. work. Man. Let's go. Take a jersey trip. Scribble go. Yeah, Scribble I likes I got a Scribble's a closet somebody. head. He's a closet head P fan, Scribble. Scribble's a closet Love head him, P dude. fan. Love you know, him. When you're you know for P3, you tell me the band that makes you feel like you fucking, you know, on top of the world, bro. Yeah, Scribble, who do you listen to? Scribble, it's, Scribble, not, Scribble. it's not easy, though. They're not doing that for me lately. They're not pulling out full albums. I'm, I'm picking one or two songs and moving dude, on. Scribble's, and for Scribble, bro, that's P.O.D. But I, I fucking represent them, dude. Scribble loves P.O.D. like you love Head P.E. They're a great fucking live band. <laughs> Shoot his group, man. Hey, if there was an anniversary tour, like I'm in. Like, if they do something, Michelle, I'm fucking... I hope Every, I'd be pissed if I saw there was one. Everybody's got to have their band that makes them feel good. You know? Everybody got a couple. I listen to Fishbone all day, though. The one where I want to feel real good. I just don't like what I have in their collection. And I actually have to fix my player. I'm getting fucking, I got to, you know, flip I won't even, I won't even lie, bro. That's the, one of the few bands that make me feel good, bro, is Kiss. I'm sorry, bro. That's Kiss. Too. Kiss, kiss. I can funny. listen to every I, fucking Kiss album. I, I don't care. Dude, I was driving on the boulevard today, picking my chick up the fucking, the dopest, fucking heaviest bass rip ever. I was made full of that's fucking oh. nasty. You, that baby, fucking rippling. Yeah, how he's fucking banging that? That's that's a nice riff Bro, for him, dude. Did you see me on the dude. road when I was honking at you that day? <laughs> Tremendous. <laughs> Slowed up and shit. I went, who the fuck? And I went, Oh, it's this motherfucker. I was yeah, like, so yo, yeah, I, was, I, I was like, that out. I figured that out very quick. Like, I was, it wasn't I like, was oh, like bro. I tell my wife, man, I was I was like, bro. I never bump into this dude. And I drive past his fucking job twice a day almost. Yeah, and I'm well, like, it was 1230. It was 235. That's exactly kind of when I want to leave by. I leave at 230 usually, but 235 is like cool. When I leave and get there, people man. are ready to get in the van and go. I don't want to sit and wait for people. I had a funny feeling it was you, but I was like, yeah, I'm going to jump in front of him, bro. I know it's Mark. I'm jumping in front of this van. Yeah. That was me, dude. Because I copped that lane and then fucking put my blinker on and then work. You know how that lane goes into fucking Anheuser. Yeah. So, like, that, you got to be aggressive there. You got to jump out and fucking blinker, like, let's go. One, two. Uh, who's this? <laughs> it's fucking you. <laughs> oh, man. I didn't know fucking. I didn't know people were going to think, like, oh, my God, what's this guy doing? He's driving crazy. I'm like, no. Motherfucker, I, I didn't know. have anybody in the van, I don't think, at that time either. Oh, okay. All right. I thought people in the yeah, van were going to probably be saying, watch out for these crazy drivers. Yeah. Uh, 2.30. That's my second trip. I started two. Yeah. yeah. It was early. That's like early my day. Yeah. No, that was a fucking, fucking that was a cool good. moment. I tell you, man. I was like, I was like, all right, check that off the list. Finally bumped into him right. over there. Like, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> I'm sitting there and I'm like, I'm like, I know I fucking drove while you were coming in. Had to him, bro. You know, just not even right. thinking about it. Right. But I mean, now, now checked off the list, bumped in the mark in front of his job. Now I'm like, all right, now I can fucking see what's, see what's next on the list. <laughs> Where do you oh, go? You go, you go down. You go to Linden, right? No, I go, I keep going straight, and I make the I get off the ramp like you go into the mall. That, yeah, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. I get off yeah. there, but then when I get off there, I just keep going straight down past IKEA, and I make the right. I make the left after IKEA, like where the entrance oh, for IKEA yeah. is. Yeah. If yeah, you keep going, instead of making the right to go to the mall, you, you keep you going straight. You pass that place called Lookers. You pass Lookers in the Burger King. You oh, go all fuck, the way down. yeah, That's dude. Right? Yeah, Lookers. Yeah, the yeah. fucking strip joint. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's right. That's right. The McDonald's is right there and shit, man. Oh, we got Scribble here. Yeah. Does it beat us playing uh, LB and Compton? Wait, does it beat what? LB and Compton? What the hell? What the hell is LB and Compton? What the hell is that? Scribble, He's can you can you speak it. East Coast? Can you speak East Coast language to us, Scribble? I don't know what that is. LB in Compton mean? We may be having trouble with our hip hop correspondent in Los Angeles, Scribble. Scribble, yeah, please. His, his translator is not working. His translator app is not working. I don't know. We uh, receive it. Messages. Oh, here we go. When we bump biscuit. Oh, yes, yes. Okay. Uh, no. Bumping when, biscuit in when, Compton. When me and Scribble <laughs> drove through Compton, bro, and we started playing Limp Biscuit, that was a great fucking feeling, bro. I was like, yo, we're going to die, but 
We're gonna die playing Limp Biscuit driving through Compton. No, with the windows down, blasting Limp Biscuit, it was crazy. I think we were playing Chocolate Starfish that album, bro. But it was fucking, it was insane, bro. Yeah. I, thought, I seriously thought we were, alone, baby. I thought we were getting shot, Mark. I really thought we were gonna get shot, bro. Why didn't you put hip hop on? Why would you put on that bus? The oh, elements of his Limp, grooves. Limp Biscuit is hip hop. It, it was rhymes. It was rhymes. Yeah, you listening to fucking the one with meth? That's hip hop. Song with meth, man. I'm not even sure. I'm not even sure what song we played, bro. But I know. I know we were both giddy. We were both giddy, like, oh, we're in Compton playing Limp Biscuit, like we're getting away with something bad, you know? Like, listen, <laughs> the on. Uh-huh. I did it all for the nookie. But I know now. Once we got in the neighborhoods, though, we lowered it down. We were on the highway, the freeway. We were blasting it, bro. Once we made the right into the neighborhoods, the shit went down, bro. We're not, we're not, we're not that fucking crazy. We're not that crazy, bro. Oh That's man, Marky B, man. We're yeah, at that mo- we're at that moment, Marky B. We're at that moment, man. We got the one hour and ten minute mark. What what what, what do you got coming up? And what do you got coming up in the uh, in the raft? Is there, Mark? Nothing. Same thing. Working like a fucking slave in the heat. What I about you? you? Bro. No shows. Nothing really popping. Just fucking home basing it, bro. Nothing really going on. Nah, I hear no you, click. Man. Everybody's busy trying to do something, but uh, it's hard even getting off, bro. You got to fucking look up and fucking go, is uh, not getting vacation for work legal? Because uh, I'm having a hard time. Really? Getting denied. Yeah, yeah, even, yeah, even a, my boss is getting fucking, yeah, it's a bad hard time, bro. Getting off. What are they, what are they saying? Oh, don't worry. Yeah. You'll get you'll get an extra check at the end of the year. I don't want uh, an extra fucking no, no, check. No. Give me the check now if you're not going to give me my vacation. That's what you I should just say. tell him. You should don't just tell buy him. my couch. Mark, <laughs> you should just tell him, hey, look, I'll work through my vacation. I want double check. And that's no, it. I just, if, that, if, if look, if we're going to get vacation, just and leave, leave me alone on my two days off, too. It's another thing. I got called in. I had to tell him I fucking, I do have an issue. I need two days off because I certain things you can't fucking get rid of if yeah. you ain't got two fucking days off. So yep. that's all. That's all I'm saying, bro. Yeah. Fucking neck injury, this and that. You know, getting in out of a van, you may fucking be real. You may get fucking hemorrhoids and shit like that. And sometimes the motherfucker <laughs> needs days off. She's saying, 100%, nobody bro. understands that. Sometimes you got to tell him, like, dude, you know, you got to help out. You're like, yeah, but you know what? I can't be, I can't make it if you fucking working six, seven days a week, bro. I, you know, you know, you know what? I, I would say I, I don't have to do shit. Then it takes you, then you, once you fucking mentally drain some drug, that's the worst. You're like, oh my God, I got to quit. That's the worst. I haven't had to have that feeling in 10 years. I yeah. used to be Mr. Fucking, I work with this thing. I'm doing that. That yeah. sucks. Now I'm stable and I'm like, now I got this problem. Like, so it's, you can't have everything, right? You, you can't need, have your cake and eat it too. You need to have the, I, that's what I always, I, I always, I, I tell like, like, they're like, you know, you, I know that some people in my job, in an industry. Like I, I, I need, I need consecutive days off to get the dome back you know to get my fucking head right i need consecutive days off i need two days off in your a row. place 24 hours your place is 24 hours yep yep yeah see the worst industry to work in bro we get caught in yeah. that because then we're kind of in the loop of like ah oh, and fucking this dude and that dude and then you're working the over it's all fucking weird dude scribble's got the oh, date with the yeah. girl yo so Shit. you just played it normal you, you did what did you do it did you do what we told you? Did you take it from the hip? How did that work? Yeah, man. Did you buy her some Reese's Cups? Out. You know, it was combo. <laughs> it went smooth. She's probably cool. If you were cool, and that's it. I know what happened, bro. That's, Scribble was like, yo, awesome. man, I know this dude named D-Rotten, bro. He's mad cool. Oh, my God, you know D-Rotten? Oh, my God, I'll go out with you, bro. D-Rotten's so awesome. That's what happened, bro. I'm telling you, bro. I feel it. Dude, that's cool. I was looking for an update. I'm glad he brought that up. Because that's been like four. That was enough time to fucking write. Now, now let me let date. me ask you, Scribble. Does she like rap music? <laughs> yeah. Did we ever talk about that? Did we ever say that? Because we were bugging, we were saying like, you know, you don't even want to go there yet until. You know. Right, I mean, I'm, I mean, yeah, I'm, you I'm know, a death rap artist. What are you into? 
You got you got to we got to we got to know if she if she's into dating uh one of the uh in most insane underground hip hop artists in LA. Uh is it the John Mayer category or are we talking what are we talking about? Though? Here we go. Small convo. Said, I just went up to her and had a small convo and asked her to go out and get a bite. New metal. Talk about music. Oh, no, new Limp Biscuit dropping the biscuit. Oh, she likes new Dude. metal. That's crazy. And how old is she? Is and does she know who Head PE is? <laughs> she must know who Head PE is. Okay, we want to know where they rank on the list. I don't know in one of the age groups. Or my statistical. Right. Uh, we want her top ten age. new metal for next week. We want her top ten yeah. list. And we want to know if she knows a, a, a Head PE. Is Head PE in her top ten? We want what to about know. Porn? I love Cole. Yeah, what, what's her top 10? Oh, Korn. here we go. She's 26 what and her else? favorite band is Corn. And he says, I doubt Head PE is in the top 10. All right, let's go. All right, let's get that. It's all in the world. Is POD in, in the top 10? Is POD in the top 10? So you're 26 and this band came out, what, 30 years ago? Corn came out in 95. Okay, so that's like us being into like well, like if somebody who was still going, I guess the cure, <laughs> the stones, right? No, right, that's, that, the rolling, that's like, that's like right. me liking the cure, bro. They fucking, they came out like three, two who, years after I was born. Who was <laughs> out 10 years before you and still playing before you were born? Like 10 years before me is 1960. So I do a Ringo star still playing. Like if you take it like by that, but yeah, the stones are still Six, playing. They 66? were out. Crazy. 66. I don't know. That's oh uh, here we go. She likes corn and deftones and Papa Roach. All the new metal. That's cool. I shit all on. Good. Oh, <laughs> all the new metal. I what shit a, on. <laughs> I fucking what a good, cool young new metal person. I guess you'd like. What about new bands though? What about the new bands of the new metal? Those are old bands. I mean, I don't know, man. I mean, I mean, I mean, I I guess once you once you once you like the old once you like the old god, there's no going you're into good. the new god. All right, then cool. Then you're on a good. You're in a good wavelength now. Yeah. Well, congratulations, Scribble. I just want her. We well, well, we want her top ten list by next week. Yeah. New metal. And we want to know if you sent her the link to buy your new album. Yes. Or did you give her your new album? Did you give her the free download code? If you buy the first one, I'll give you the whole collection. Ooh, yeah. You just that's have to nice. subscribe. There you go. There you go, man. Well, Scribble, congratulations, man. And yeah, yo, thank, thanks everybody for listening to us, man. And I will be back Appreciate next week. You. you know what it all is, man. Yeah, get those Mike Tyson blunts, man. Oh, wait, hold on. She don't even know I'm a rapper. <laughs> She's going to find out you're a rapper, bro. Once she fucking listens to Skinwalker or fucking one of those albums. Yeah. Oof. She'll find out. You'll wind up busting a rhyme in front of her out of nowhere just without Yo, even thinking give about her it. Give a t-shirt of that Limp Bizkit album, Significant Other shirt. Oh, That's who we yeah, get of your shirt, Scribble. Get to that one. That shirt with this. That's it. That'll be the key to Once you hand it a shirt, when you hand it a you shirt, you got to go, yow, yow. <laughs> you make t-shirts what- and it. I love, when Scribble, when, I love when Scribble fucking on when he starts up a song, he always goes, yow, yow. <laughs> Gotta have you jump up. So does Harry Mack, all right? <laughs> well, there you go, Scribble, man. That's the advice, bro. You give, it a limp, give it a Scribble Limp Biscuit shirt. Hand her a couple of your CDs and go, this yeah, is what yeah. I'm about. And that's it, man. Give it the old school Napalm Death one, bro. She'll like that. Give me the old hey, 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 like from uh, what's happening. Yeah, yeah. I'm telling you. All right, motherfuckers, man. Make sure you like and subscribe. Everything fun of Dungeon Podcast, man. Check us out, man. We're here every fucking Monday. I'm not Monday. Every Tuesday at 930 or 10 o'clock, man. Make sure you check us out all the time, bro. And then in the morning times, I'm on the uh, I'm on the ones and twos with uh with Clean Sanchez from Clean Sanchez Media. And yeah, what guys- was that? I caught that last week. That was cool, bro. Yeah. I caught you somewhere. Yeah, I didn't even know that was happening. It just popped up. I was like, I want to watch this while I fucking right, when I woke up. You doing that early in the morning? Uh what was that? Like fucking I think we saw it like eleven exactly. o'clock, eleven thirty. Yeah, all yeah. right, all right. Little morning yeah, time kind of jam. That was, that was cool. Yeah, that was a good wake up. Exactly. 
All right, yeah, brother, man. Sure, All you guys, man, be, be sure, be safe. Be out, be sure. Go out and fucking, you know, kick down some doors. Wave in with your 4-4. Four, four, you know. It's cool. It's hot out. It's crazy yeah. hot. Yeah. Stay cool out there, motherfuckers, man. Go drink a lot of water and and be loyal to the you. Empire. Remember, folks, be loyal to the Empire. Straight up. We out, bro. Peace out. Later.